So if I remember correctly from uh, when they played earlier, uh, Fiction was white and Bobby was green. So we'll see if, I, I think that's still gonna be the case here. Oh, we just find that F smash and the laser closes out the stock. Squid said I was gonna commentate the first stock. He didn't realize it was gonna be over in five seconds. Oh, and he goes for these up smash again. Kind of an interesting option there by Fiction, but it does push Bobby off stage. And Bobby's just so far on the back foot here at the beginning of this match. Oh, we get a spot dodge, and oh my god, Bobby's just dead again. Oh, I'm <laughs> back just in time to see a wall tech side B fail to grab the ledge. Hell yeah. Yeah, and all, <laughs> you know, we started off so quickly, um, and Fiction is all of a sudden um, up two stocks to none, no problem. Yeah, dang. And only at 17%, too. He's barely been hit, so. Oh, he finds another that. shield. Oh my god, look at even more dominant than he was in winners right now. If he can close this out, finds a strong nair. Oh, just and barely getting, can't cover. That was like a cool position where he goes for the back air, it doesn't quite connect, and he just follows up with a Nairn just to maintain that safety and be in a good position. Yep, yep. Oh, and Bobby oh. accidentally getting the fourth smash when he's trying to run off with an aerial. Okay, he oh, finds a shine, gets the... Oh, but he, the back air comes out too oh. early. The side he just covered. stares at him when he's in the corner, and he watches Bobby kind of flail around and punishes him outright. Once again, cashing in on that good center stage positioning that he so good at. <laughs> oh, uh, that's the here. Yeah, tough not to flounder when you're getting kind of beat this bad, you know, so you yeah. have to recenter himself before next game, but kind of spend the rest of this game just kind of centering yourself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice, pulls <laughs> out the stock and quits out. Yeah. You'll love to see All it. Right. That's a Mango Classic. <laughs> Bobby playing like this is uh, friendlies uh, on any given night. Um, yep, but yep. I think that's a really good reset for him to not end up getting four stocked. He goes with that way off stage nair that he loves to do. So uh, yeah. hoping to see him come back uh, a little bit more under control here in the second game. Yep. So right off the bat though, kind of gets cornered and gets out, no problem. Finds the up tilt into a conversion, into a tech chase, kind of covers. Yeah, it goes for the read in the second place. Jason just rolls in. Into some shield pressure, but gets full hop neared out. And I love that every full hop aerial fiction does lands on the top platform, thus giving him another mix up on the way down. So many Falcos full hop, and then they're kind of just stuck there. But fiction's always able to do something else on the way down. Oh, okay. Bobby is able to get the light shield uh, push off so that he can find the back air. It gets fiction off stage, but he's not able to close out the edge guard. Yep. Oh, and he kind of goes for a runoff shine there. Doesn't quite catch him, too. So both these guys kind of getting the other one to kill percent over 100%. And now we're just kind of battling it out to see who gets the first edge guard. It's not Bobby. Not yet. Oh, oh, no, no, fiction. no, he's not dead not yet. Like he's, ah. not dead. he's not dead. Oh, they love oh, each other. Oh they just don't want to kill each other. It's too painful, you know? Okay, Fellow there you go. Name. So one of the things we saw in the earlier set in winners was that Fiction uh, got a lot of openings on just awkward timings for his approaching nares. And that was another situation where he found the kill with that nair. Right, so right. So gonna look for that to continue and to see if Bobby can oh. finally find a read on that. Speaking of light shields, Bobby light shields on the platform and Fiction just runs up and grabs him. Doesn't really get anything out of it, which is kind of why she... Oh my god, the DI makes up, so the turnaround up tilt gets a huge zero to death out of it. Does he finish it? He does. Let's go, Bobby. I really like getting that hit of the dare with, from high up. He gets like mm -hmm. the top of the short hop dare so that it's just really awkward to find that um, tech option. Yeah, yeah, if you're not careful, you're gonna get hit above the ledge and not be able to tech it mm -hmm. um, unless you have to do some weird like SDI down or something. Mm -hmm. So yeah, good stuff making it pretty complicated for him. And even if he did get the tech, sometimes you can just read their tech option anyways. Ooh, Fiction looking nice, to close nice. it back up and tie two stocks apiece. I really like the way that Fiction didn't swing on his way down. He just allowed himself to land and read the roll with the F-Smash. Yep, yep. Oh, that ledge dash shine oh. gets under the nair and is invincible for long enough. <laughs> I thought Fiction was letting him back for a second because he almost killed himself. And then he just let a forward smash rip. And I was like, never mind. <laughs> He's super <laughs> down to kind of challenge that recovery right there. So Fiction does a forward throw into a tech chase. Gets him all the way in the corner. Takes his time okay. getting back out. Nice. Once again, we see Fiction throwing sort of aerial into aerial, trying to cover Bobby's defensive options. He's not Ooh. going for that true pressure as often because he's looking for Bobby to make a move right exactly. away. Exactly. Oh my God. And the, once again, the top platform full mm -hmm. hot back air. Mm -hmm. And that time, it actually, it's just a kill move oh. at like 120 or something. Probably catches the fastball DI. Oh, Fiction, really patient back corner play. No. Back throw dash attack takes the jump. Got to be careful. Ah. You want to SDI the, the lasers, but you don't want to do so in a way that gets your jump eaten by a move so a little unfortunate there but yep. 
tough to see, but you know that's that's going to do it there for game two. Once again, we see Fiction just kind of running away with the set after uh, you know we were sort of looking for Bobby to come in with uh, a little bit more control. I I'm not seeing Bobby miss those. Uh, those really tight combos that he was in the first game, he's sort of mm -hmm. closing that out a bit better. But yep. the neutral game is just looking so yep. challenging for him. He's getting caught every time he tries to go for a defensive option um, out of uh, Fiction's pressure. And it just looks like Fiction has such a great understanding of his timing and what he's trying to do, uh, like you mentioned, especially in the corner. Yeah, I actually think the the position game is what Fiction is really, like, looks like to be pretty far ahead in both directions when he's the one with bobby cornered he's getting the better of it and funnily enough when he's the one in the corner he's getting the better of it he's playing more conservative and more defensive when he's in the corner and taking his time to find an opening and that's the difference maker is bobby kind of gets antsy to, for the hit but when oh. bobby's the one in the corner fiction's able to maintain the discipline to find whatever pressure he needs to find to get the opening set up Oof. Okay, okay but bobby doesn't need to get good at the corner game if he can just kill his opponent from center stage <laughs> Oh no, is he just dead? He's just oh, dead! Oh, oh, oh. Squid, why? Yeah, that's the thing. When you're playing from the corner, any move is way stronger, way more threatening, and they're a strong bear basically to let into a kill of 20. So... Okay, okay, Bobby. Oh, once again, oh, you see the reversal. Here. He has a jump here. He didn't know if he had a jump or not, so he ended up just doing jump up B instantly, I think, so... Oh, down air is into him, but... He, oh, he just finagles <laughs> that down air. Such a clean conversion from Fiction. Okay, we're seeing Bobby put a lot of pressure in the corner. We were just talking about how he needed to up his game in that regard, and that was looking pretty good there. Yeah, and Fiction kind of went for like a greedy recovery where he shines stalled and came back on with an up air, and he just gets hit out of it. So, good stuff from Bobby. Cashing in on his good spot. Four tilt just pushes him off and kills him at 100. That's actually pretty low. So, looks like he caught him double jumping uh, kind of in the corner, which is. Mm -hmm the riskiest thing to do in the corner and oftentimes it pays off but sometimes it just gets you killed Ooh, and this time bobby is the one who retreats to the top platform but fiction yeah. just reads it and follows him there with a dare yeah but pretty low risk oh my god but this combo into a forward smash and gets oh. the di out yeah that's pretty much a 50 50 there at the top of the platform like falco can up tilt or shine or he can just forward smash and I don't really think he can react. There might be, oh my God, accidentally. Ooh, he went for the shield drop shine. Yeah. Grabs the ledge, back doesn't back off, shoots a laser, goes for the back air. Man, Fiction just has so much oh. control here that even when he drops the edge guard, he just finds a back air like two seconds later, right? Or half a second later. Yeah, it just feels like Bobby can never get his footing and never get anything started. Yep, and yep. yeah, once again, he just gets caught and that's gonna do it. Yep. That's the end of Losers Finals right there. Fiction just, kind of outpacing uh bobby in, in those certain situations it's funny because it wasn't like like i think the tech skill and the like movement was still more in bobby's favor than fictions but yeah. fiction was just always finagling the positional advantage even in those like sort of scrappy positions and that ends up doing it for him so quickly yeah because he did outpace Bobby, but that doesn't mean he went faster than Bobby. It just means he grabbed hold of the pacing of the match and said, mm -hmm. this is the pacing we're playing at. And Bobby's kind of like, well, that's not the pacing I want to play at. And so he gets 3-0'd, you know? So uh, on one hand, it's like, there's a couple ways to combat that type of style. And this is actually something I've heard people describe being a frustrating thing about fighting Fiction's Fox, too. Like, even when he was mm -hmm. winning these, like, local tournaments.